In this project, we're building a shoulder robot with CircuitPython and electronics from Adafruit. It's 3D printed to look just like Terrico from The Legend of Zelda Age of Calamity. Our companion robot sits on your shoulder with a magnetic plate and metal backing hidden underneath. Terrico is a tiny guardian robot who's traveled from the future to save Zelda. It's got an LED for the eye that randomly flashes, making it look like it's autonomous. The robot is programmed in CircuitPython, and the code was written by Philip Progress. With CircuitPython boards from Adafruit, they work just like a USB drive, so the code is easy to update. The NeoPixel and Motor libraries make it easy to code projects with servos and LEDs. The demo code for this project is available on GitHub. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The head was 3D printed upside down with support material using PLA filament. A brim was added to improve bed adhesion. The parts were 3D printed using marble gray and gold colored filaments. The LiPo backpack is wired to an itsy bitsy board to allow the battery to be charged over USB. You can use flush diagonal snips to easily cut the trace to enable the pins for an on off switch. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a full step by step tutorial on building this project. These Molex cables are wired to the itsy bitsy to make the assembly much easier. The boards are connected together using silicone wires. The itsy bitsy is fitted into the case and held down with built in clips. The LiPo backpack is secured inside the case with a machine screw. This metal geared servo is wired to a 3 pin Molex cable. The servo is installed with the wiring fitted through the cutout. The cable fits through a hole and is pulled through the other side. Screws are used to secure the servo to the enclosure. A JST extension cable is connected to this LiPo battery. The JST cable is fitted through the hole in the enclosure and plugs into the LiPo backpack. The slide switch is fitted into the holder with the actuator accessible on the other side. The NeoPixel ring is wired up to another Molex cable. The PCB fits over the servo and press fits onto the center of the ring. The battery can then be nestled inside. The NeoPixel ring plugs into the Itsy Bitsy. A 3D printed attachment ring is secured to the servo horn with a screw. The feet are made from these 3D printed pyramids that feature ball socket joints. They snap fit together to form the limbs and are press fitted to the bottom cover. A magnetic plate is installed and has two very strong neodymium magnets. The plate fits into the recess with the magnetic discs fitted through the holes. With everything installed, the bottom cover can then be snap fitted onto the enclosure. To diffuse the NeoPixels, the eye is 3D printed using clear PLA. Inside the head are these clips that grab onto the frame of the servo horn attachment. The head is placed over the case with the clips fitting into the ring attachment. You can use metallic acrylic paint to add textured features over the head and legs. And there you have it. Welcome home, Terrico. So if you're looking to build a companion bot, we hope you're inspired to check this out. <laughs>